We have previously discussed the ability of stem cells to go into areas of injured tissue and to help heal the injured tissue either directly by transdifferentiating into new tissue or providing different means, trophic support or a new blood vessel formation to help accelerate healing of injured tissue. Now, injured tissue, we know it produces a variety of homing signals that tell the stem cell to go where it's needed. In other situations, the tissue doesn't necessarily have an acute injury or no injury at all. So in these kind of situations, do stem cells play a role? Can they even play a role or not? So I'm going to tell you about a little publication that I just read. Um, this publication came from Dr. Gage's group at the Salk Institute that asked this specific question. Do stem cells go into area, areas in the central nervous system where there is no injury? So what the study involved was green mice. Uh, mice are genetically engineered to express the green fluorescent protein, GFP, in every cell of the body. So bone marrow stem cells from these mice were transferred into naive mice into mice that uh, do not have green in them because they're wild type or normal mice. And before the transfer of green stem cells, the wild type mice, the normal mice, they were lethally irradiated. Just like in bone marrow transplantation, they were given a high dose of radiation to destroy the stem cells that are inside the mouse, inside the wild type mouse, so that when you put green cells in it, then the green cells will engraft and will make up all of the hematopoietic stem cells, at least, in the recipient mouse. So these mice, the recipients, received the lethal irradiation, then they were given green cells, and then they were held for 10 months to 1 year, so that the green cells may have time to go repopulate the bone marrow and also do other things that they may do. Now, after 10 to 12 months, when you do sections of the brain of the recipient mouse, what you see, as you see in this figure, you see green cells, meaning that the cells went into the brain, and you see red cells. Red cells here are cells that are stained with the marker uh, isolectin, cells basically which have an endothelial-like um, appearance. Now, this green cells in the paper, if you read the paper, the green cells were found all over the central nervous system of the mouse, implying, number one, that stem cells can actually cross the blood-brain barrier in conditions without injury. Now, if you look closer, you actually see that these green cells seem to bind closely to uh, areas where there's endothelium, where there's blood vessels. In this figure, the uh, green cells, of course, are the cells from the donor mouse, the bone marrow-derived stem cells. And the red cells are cells that stain for CD31, which is a marker of endothelium. Now, if you look even closer, you can actually see within the green cell, red cells, that have been phagocytosed, or eaten up, by the green cells. And the green cells, by the way, the appearance is a microglial-like uh, appearance, or astrocyte appearances. So, what the study is saying, it's saying, number one, that bone marrow-derived cells can cross the blood-brain barrier in conditions where there's no inflammation. Number two, in this non-inflammation model, the green cells, the bone marrow-derived stem cells, do not become blood vessels, as they do in other types of situations, but they line the blood vessel. And number three, there's some kind of interaction between the, the green cells and the, and the red cells, the blood vessel cells, in the sense that it appears that the bone marrow-derived green cells are actually eating up or helping remodeling. No one knows what exactly this means. One can hypothesize, however, that the bone marrow-derived cells are involved in the remodeling or the maintenance of the vasculature. So, the bottom line with this study is that there is a possibility that the bone marrow-derived cells, stem cells, actually participate in regulating various functions of the brain in absence of injury. Thank you very much.